Motorways, also known as highways, expressways or freeways, allow for shorter journey times between cities. In the 1970s and 1980s, the average journey between Cork and Dublin in Ireland, a distance of 260 km, took between 4.5 to 5 hours. Since the final part of the motorway opened in 2010, this journey can now be completed in 2.5 hours, if you don't get caught in the rush hour traffic of the 17th most congested city in the world. However, that was just an example to show the importance of motorways. Now we move southeast to Romania, where a one metre long motorway was built. Romania is 238,000 square kilometres and is home to around 19.4 million people. Like neighbouring Bulgaria, there were two types of controlled access highways in Romania, motorways and expressways. The main difference between the two is that motorways have emergency lanes and top speeds of 130 km per hour, while expressways don't have these lanes and have speed limits of 100 to 120 km per hour. This difference was created in 2012, but I actually couldn't find any open expressway in the country, so maybe none were built yet. With simplicity, I will classify both of these as motorways, unless otherwise stated. If you look at this map, it seems that Romania has a decent amount of motorways connecting all of the major cities, but in reality, only the roads with white lines are in use. The dashed lines are roads under construction, while the plain light and dark green lines are proposed expressways and motorways. In total, Romania has 841 kilometres of motorways. The UK, a similarly sized country, has 3,800 kilometres. Here is another map of plans for a Romanian motorway system from 1969, overlaid with what was actually built. It's clear here that the country's highway system currently isn't very good. The A1, or first 96 km stretch of motorway between the capital Bucharest and Potesti, opened in 1972. During its construction, the plan shown earlier was published, but due to low volumes of traffic, the communist regime decided to focus on improving current roads instead. The collapse of communism in Romania delayed many projects, leaving only 18 kilometers of the A2 actually built. Changing the economic system caused little to be invested in infrastructure, and construction only continued on the A2 in 1998. Over the years, many works were delayed and cancelled due to costs safety concerns and political controversies over contracts. A big boost for Romania's roads came after joining the European Union in 2007, but progress has still been slow, with the country being ranked with the worst road policy in the Union. Still no motorway connects Bucharest to Transylvania or Moldavia to the west of the country. It can still take 5 hours to drive a 40 km stretch on a single lane carriageway through the Carpathians when travelling between Bucharest and Brasov. On the 2nd of January 2020, traffic trailed back for the full 40 km from Predal to Braza, with average speeds of under 10 km per hour. Romania also has some of the highest road deaths in Europe, being twice the Irish or EU average and three times that in the UK or Sweden. Now back to the title of this video. On March 15, 2019, in the northern Moldavian city of Suchava, Stefan Mandaci, a 33-year-old businessman who owned a fast food chain, opened a one metre long stretch of motorway. He had built it on his own land, costing just 4,500 euros. Wrecked cars were placed next to the motorway to symbolise how dangerous the road network is. He did all of this to shame the government to take action on motorways. Adjacent roads were gridlocked when hundreds of supporters came for the inauguration of the one metre motorway. As part of Stefan's Romania Wants Motorways campaign, he urged fellow citizens to stop work for 15 minutes to attend the ceremony. Across Romania, workers, mayors, companies and footballers joined the protest at the allotted time of 3 o'clock. Stefan also closed his 40 Spartan restaurants across the country at this time. It's said that poor roads cost Romania's economy billions each year and that 2% of its GDP is lost because of it. Following this event, in November, locals in the Moldavian city of Piatranamt were left confused when a new road opened that led nowhere. The 200 metre street, costing 100,000 euros, ended in a field with a crossing and stop sign. The mayor of the town claimed that it was part of a modernisation plan for the area. Protests can only do so much, and it'll be years until Romania has a motorway network comparable to other countries. If visiting the one metre motorway is the first thing you want to do after the current crisis, Suchava has an international airport with flights to a handful of locations, including London Lucian, Bucharest, Bergamo, and Memmingen. Just don't expect to take a motorway to your destination.
Thank you so much for watching this video. If you've any ideas for future videos, put them in the comment section below. Subscribe for more on Ireland, Europe and the world. Thank you.